everybody! What's up? And welcome back to No Holds Barred, the channel where I pretty much do whatever the fuck I want. Because it's fun! Why not? And today, it's not about makeup. Oh! What the fuck? Have I lost my mind? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's hot as fuck! And can you hear the air conditioning? We need the air conditioning because it's like 32 degrees out there. I think. Let me check. Yeah. It's 31 degrees. It feels like 32 with the humidity. Probably even more. Like, this is insane! We usually get these temperatures in like August maybe and we're like June. Um, but let's not get into the climate <laughs> debate or whatever, but the air conditioning is on. I do apologize if you can hear that. But there's a bunch of stuff in front of me that didn't cost that much money. I think I have 10 things in front of me. I'm supposed to, but I might have forgotten them by the time I was doing my makeup and, and putting them out here. I don't know, but it's things that were at least under $10 and that I find freaking useful. I'm gonna share with all y'all, cause like this might look like, nah, it's not expensive. I like to pretend I'm expensive, but I, I'm not. I mean, there's a lot of videos out there of just me showing you how I get my makeup for really cheap, which is usually winners. But, still, um, this is kind of something I've always kind of wanted to do and I never really put it together and then today I just decided I was going to do it. So here we go. And the first thing, I love this thing. So, that's what it looks like. Just plastic thing. Do you know what it is? Do you? I didn't know what it was for when I first saw it, but I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was like $2, um, inflation these days, it might be like 3 by now, but it is like a pots and pans scrubber. So sometimes you'll have something stuck to the bottom, like it burnt a little bit, or like I bake a lot of things and sometimes like it overflows, so I'll, you just need to scrape stuff off. So instead of using something in metal and actually like scrape your pans and stuff, you use this thing. It's really thick plastic and it has like this curve part. That's great, doesn't scratch anything, but if you need to get to the corners, it does have a corner part. This thing works amazing. Like, there's even like a little bit of like a grip to it. If you can see like how it's thicker in the middle, so you get to hold on to it, and then you can just like go to town if you really burn something. Because sometimes I burn food. Okay, I cook a lot. I'm not the best chef in the world, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. And sometimes I burn shit. So this helps clean things without scratching my pots and pans. It's two bucks. Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. Now the next thing you can kind of see a little bit, it is this light. So now I have actually bought a ring light. Bought it for 30 bucks on Amazon. If you want to know the link, like let me know and I'll share the link because it's wicked. Um, but before that, again, I don't have all that kind of money. I do with what I got. I do what I can with what I got, man. And I had found these LED lights. They're touch. They get brighter. There's three brightnesses. These are four dollars and then you can bend them around and you can do all sorts of things. So I do have two of these and this was kind of what I was using when there wasn't enough light before I got the ring light and stuff like that. Even though right now it is super super sunny so it's a combination of the ring light and just natural light coming in. But these come in handy through so many other things like power outages because they just take three AA batteries. So we had last year at the end of that hurricane the power is out for like 24 hours. Here's a lamp. There you go. Already done for you. For your batteries. Since it moves around easily and it just kind of stays in whatever position, it's really great if you're like going to do crafting stuff. Like right now I'm into doing some diamond paintings. They're Nightmare Before Christmas and they're going to be decorating my wall at the exact same time. And I need to see because again my eyes, need they need some help. So I can, you know, different brightnesses and then move it to the right angle while I am doing my crafts. Again, four dollars a dollarama. You can't go wrong. I have two of them and even though the idea behind getting them was to help me with this, they help me in all sorts of other things around my house. Definitely. For sure. Where is this cool dollarama I speak of? I don't know where you are in the world, but in Atlantic Canada, where I am at, we have two kinds of dollar stores. The Great Canadian Dollar Store and something called Dollarama. When Dollarama first opened, God, I was probably in university, so like 2000, 2001, everything was a dollar. And of course now nothing's a dollar. <laughs> um, 
things are usually around like two, two fifty up to four dollars. But you get so many cool things there. And I mean if y'all are stuck with your Dollar Trees in the United States and all that stuff, like take a vacation when all this stuff is over and come visit Dollarama because it's got like cool, awesome shit. Like this. Look. It's a pack of four for four bucks. First of all, I am a unicorn. Hello. Um, but it's four dollars and there's four of them, so we go in the dishwasher, get a cup, lid, my kitten loves to knock everything over, plus I'm clumsy, so I knock shit over all the fucking time. And, and it's about a unicorn. What can I go wrong with that? Another thing, the next thing I just put my hands on, I don't know if I got these at the dollar store, or if I got them at Mastermind, which is a store which is for games and stuff. They're tiny little, like, puzzles, so try to get the little beads to fall onto the little pattern. There's this one and then I have another one here. So for those of you who are new, hi, and don't know, um, I happen to be on permanent disability, which means full-time work is not something I'm capable of doing. I wish I could, I can't. And, and there's lots of reasons for that, most of it being the fact that I have really, really bad ADHD and it feeds into anxiety, it feeds into all sorts of other things, and, and it makes me super too tired and then I just get exhausted. But I did try having part-time jobs because again, the diet that I need to eat and all that kind of whatnot, with my disability check, um, it's kind of rough. Now, I know right now everybody's going through a rough time with everything that's going on, and uh, I do want to say congratulations to at least three so far. So we are Wednesday. And uh, so far since Monday, I have three of my friends that are having some new Rona babies. So good for all of you. I'm happy for every single one of my friends. Two of them already have kids. They're already great parents. The other people that I know have been trying for years. So super happy for them. But before all of this kind of happened, my financial situation has finally been settled to a place where I'm okay. I don't need to get a part-time job. I can afford my bills, I can afford my food. If I budget properly, I can even get a few extras here and there. And I wish I could still like work part-time because it gives me a lot of extra spending money. But I can't, I, tr I tried, I tried. Um, but for a while, one of my part-time jobs was in a call center and, and I needed to, to focus on things. So this is why I did to try to keep myself busy because call centers, it's a lot of repetitive stuff. I knew what I was saying. I didn't need to read things. I knew what I was talking about. But I did need to keep myself occupied. So I had these tiny little toy things to keep myself occupied. And these are like $4 each. Um, I think they're great. Not necessarily only for people that have ADD, but they can be a great thing. Like they're quiet. They, they do make a little bit of noise. But I mean, it's something that you can play with to distract yourself if, if you happen to have a problem with, with keeping focus because here's a little tip thingy from me having ADHD is yes having a hard time focusing on things but it's also hyper focusing on things like I can get wrapped up in like the diamond paintings like I've been talking about my diamond paintings I can get wrapped up in that to, to the point that I like miss meals and stuff like I start feeling sick because I'm hungry and then I realize I've been at it for like hours and hours and hours. So that said, sometimes when you're, you're trying to accomplish a task, like maybe just like listening, listening to a teacher, listening to a lecturer, listening to something that you don't want your mind to wander, if you keep your mind occupied with these little things, it helps. And I mean, for everybody out there, now, that's not just a tip for people with ADHD, by the way. Like, how many of you doodle when you're on the phone or something, or you're talking to someone and you're just like doodling away? That's the same concept. It's the exact same thing. And there's no shame in any of that stuff. Like, mental health stuff, no shame. It happens to the best of us. Anxiety happens to everybody in the world, whether they want to admit it or not. So, like, just end the stigma. And on the subject of stigma, Happy Pride! It's still Pride Month. So, but I do think, I do think that this is going to be sticking around because I really like it. Speaking of things I really like and things that are under $10 is this. 
Now, for those of you who know me, you know that I love pineapples. I have like a collection. I have an even bigger collection because I just keep adding here and there. This is a lip balm. It's like those EOS lip balms. Look, it has it's in there. You know, open, close. Um, I happen to be allergic to the EOS lip balms, and a lot of people are. I actually, I don't know how I read about it. I think I might have like Googled it. Which, don't go Googling symptoms, okay? Google is not a fucking doctor. It'll just tell you bad things. Don't Google shit. But a lot of people have reactions to the EOS. This one, I don't have a reaction to. It is from the company called Rebels Refinery. You see these advertised a lot on Instagram, actually. They're either a pineapple or a skull head. Fucking wicked. I happen to get mine at Winners for like three bucks, but even full price, they'll sell under $10. They're awesome. And just a tidbit of dumb information, because a lot of it floats around my head all the time. EOS stands for Evolution of Smooth. I don't know why I know that, but I just do. This next thing, I'm going to be really, really sad if I drop things, because it's the only thing that really has to do with makeup for this whole thing. It is a makeup holder, all right? It looks like this. There you go. That plastic part you see under there. So it does hold my makeup. This type of like makeup holder, so it's like a palette holder, are usually super expensive. They're like 10, 15 bucks even on Amazon. Just because it's a specialty item and they can get away with it. I found this at Walmart for $4, not in the beauty section. Because in the beauty section, it was like 10 bucks. Almost the same thing. It was just in the bathroom section for four bucks. So it does do what I wanted to do. I am going to go put it back before I drop things. I do have to say, for a girl who don't smoke, I got a lot of like weed themed makeup, but it's kind of like the new thing to have CBD oil and everything. Sure, why not? But I just happen to like the color in this. Um, yeah, super happy. Just an off note that wasn't very necessary, but here it is anyway. Something, however, that is necessary, but isn't, that is just super fucking cool that I got for $3. So $3 at the Dollarama is this watch holder, this watch charger. It says that it's like an Apple watch charger, but it does charge my Michael Kors watch. So it's really, really easy to use. You just put your charger in the little part, feed the wire down the side so that it just gets tucked away, and then you just have a nice place to charge your watch. Please don't mind the scuff marks on the front part of my watch. I did buy a screen protector for this one, which I'm very happy I did. Um, I had another Michael Kors watch before, it was a Gen 1, this is a Gen 3, upgraded a little bit, um, but I'm clumsy and, and I walk into things because I have a hard time seeing. And, um, okay, before all of you rip into me, why do I have a smartwatch? Mostly because it's my fall arrest. So I don't see that well. Sometimes I trip. As well as I also have narcolepsy, even though it's pretty much under control. The chance of me falling is there. It's a thing. And I live alone. So my watch has an app on it that if I do fall, it'll detect it. And then it automatically calls people. Just like the same thing of the life work thing. Um, so for me, it is a necessary thing. And see how this just holds it? Charges it. Three bucks just for this part. Like, go get one. Um, but for those of you that are telling me that, like, I spent too much money or whatever, no, no. I get mine on sale. I, I don't pay full price. I that kind of rich. But it does help a lot. Mostly because it's kind of a requirement for me to live alone to have some kind of fall arrests because, the, again, the chance of me tripping and falling are, are there. And if you get the life alert because the government was going to pay for it for me, it's those big, bulky, ugly watches. Like, for those of them, for those of you who need the fall arrest, the life alert, like, like just, just take it. But in my case, it was going to be like $1,000 to install. And about a couple years ago when I first got my first Michael Kors watch, that's what it was for. Um, 
in my city, it's not a big place. They didn't have much of the like leave your house life alert ones. So they were gonna come to my house and install, you know, the whole thing and give me this ugly little watch or a big watch. I don't know what it looks like, but I know it's <laughs> but I know it's like, you know, kinda ugly and shit. Um but I couldn't leave my house. It was gonna be pointless if I left my house. And when it comes to the app on the watch, it's called Rightminder, I think. Um it comes to the app on the watch, it's connected to my cell phone via Bluetooth. So if I'm out of my house, my cell phone's always somewhere in my backpack. If I'm in my house, my cell phone's usually close to me. But if it isn't, it's still within range of my phone. And if anything happens, I'm covered. So that's the real tea about why I happen to have one of those watches. Um, could I have the same function with like a Fitbit or whatever? Yeah, I could. It's just the Fitbits that you need to buy or any other kind of smartwatch that has the accelerometer and the gyrometer, which is what can detect a fall, are all within the same price range as I get these. So don't, don't shit on me, right? Trying to be safe. Trying to do the best I can with what I got, again. Now I got something in my hand and this is fucking wicked cool. Okay, so this, this, this is a coffee cup warmer. It's four bucks, all right? It's rudimentary, doesn't do anything that crazy special. You plug it in the wall, you know, turn it on, it heats up. It's supposed to keep your coffee cup warm. I, I don't drink coffee. I, I don't like warm beverages. But what do I use this for? Candles. Coffee cup warmer. Put them on there. Your candle will eventually melt. You don't have to light it because same reasons why I don't want to fall over are the same reasons why I shouldn't have a lit candle. One, I might forget it and burn the house down. Two, I now have a kitten that puts her face in everything. And, and three, I might knock it over. So it's not a good idea for me to have lit candles. I do have a bunch of fake candles that look like the real kinds, battery operated, and they look like it's candlelight, but it's all fake, okay? Half, half the shit that you see on social media is fake. How many times do I have to tell you that? People are just faking it. Nobody's really that happy all the fucking time. Um, but, oh, it smells good. I haven't opened this one in a while. This is blackberry pumpkin. So it's like a fall smell of it. Mm, smells good. So they just melt. You just sit them on there. Now you could go out and buy the scentsy things and all that kind of whatnot. That's the same idea. But you know, you don't have to dig anything out. Like it's, it's in a glass jar melts, whatever, it's cheap. I don't know how expensive Scentsy stuff is because I don't own any, but I do know that this $4 thing with my $3 candles that I get at Winners work fine together, makes me happy. And if we're talking about me being happy, we do have to talk about makeup a little bit. I do have like these cool like makeup holders, so. Oh, I guess um the computer heard me talking. Tips for being happy. Well, thanks for listening to me, computer. This is fucking creepy. <laughs> but these are actually candle holders, I think. They're just cute, and they just hold my brushes. Like, just cute little things. Sometimes it's the small things. The small things in your life really, I mean, I am trying to set up my house. I'm almost there. Um, I don't know if I can afford a new couch or not. I'm trying to put that into my budget because I found a really cool one that I really like, brand new, it's something that I might be able to afford. But just rearranging. I've rearranged the house in a manner that flows better for me and, and it makes me feel so much better. I feel more at home. I'm just more relaxed. So sometimes you might not even to get Sometimes you might not even need to get new things. You just might need to like rearrange the things you got. But these were like four bucks and they hold my makeup brushes, so. Look at that, here we are on the last thing. It is a little speaker. And those were from the dollar I'm on. So is this, this was four bucks. This is a little speaker, battery powered on the back. It's actually waterproof because there's some, yeah, my clothes are back there. Just finally bought clothes that fit. Again, lost a bunch of weight, didn't really have the clothes to fit. Now I have clothes that fit me, super happy. Got them at Walmart and Winners, they, they're back there. And the public pool should be opening soon so I can go play with my friends. Even though there's like some restrictions, there was never a lot of people there last year anyway. So we were able to use this speaker. Again, it's waterproof. And it's pretty shockproof too, okay? I just dropped it, it still works. So you just plug it in to your phone and it's a speaker, 
like it sounds better than the speakers on your phone there's no other way the only thing that sucks about this is that it doesn't have a volume control on the speaker itself it uses the volume control from your phone but for four dollars the fuck do you expect i mean you're expecting the articles for four bucks you're expecting a little too much ah that's it though doll room has some cool fucking shit so that's what i had to show you from today most of it from Dollarama, one thing from Bed Bath & Beyond, a couple other things from Walmart. If you got some really awesome finds from the Dollarama, let me know below. There's more. I want to get good shit. I want to get good finds. Like I want to find more stuff there. As well, if you want, give this video a like. You can follow along and subscribe if you don't want to. That's cool. I don't care. This is just for fun. This is my fun place. My place to just have a good time. And thank you guys and just have a great summer.